Hi everyone. So, I have decided to try and participate in the Wonderland Icon. This is a readathon based around um, Alice in Wonderland book, and it is being hosted by the legendary reader and book snake Erin. So definitely go check out their channels. Um, and they have set up a pretty uh, interesting and really fun sounding. Um, read it on here. Sorry, I'm looking down I'm trying to get to the prompts here. So, I don't always have time to read a lot of big books. You know, for like a read a thon that's in a time kind of limit thing, um, it is for the entire month, but still, life. So, I don't have. A whole lot of, like I said, big books that I would probably, you know, would have loved to read, but I have like a couple longer ones in there. Um, a couple are graphic novels and comics and stuff like that. Um, I also picked those because I want to start reading more, you know, graphic novels and stuff and expanding beyond. Uh, what I've currently been reading, which I have done, but, um, you know, readathons and prompts are really good to help you really think about things that you could be reading. So anyways, let's get on to what I will be reading or trying to read this month. So, the prompts are named by chapter which I thought was really cool. Chapter 1 is Down the Rabbit Hole. Read the first book in a fantasy series. So I have already started this. Started it today. And I am reading How to Train the Dragon. Now, I think I've seen bits and parts of the movie, so I know there's like a cute dragon in it, but I hear from like Goodreads that this is quite different. Um, but this one seems kind of silly, kind of more lighthearted, more fun, and I tend to read a lot of serious books, so once in a while, like a middle grade or anything comic or fun, you know, it's a good change. So far, I'm liking it. It's cute. Um, chapter two is Pool of Tears. Read a book that you think will make you uh, I'm have to go. I think it's called Serena or Serena. And this is, you know, the concept of mermaids not having souls and having to have humans fall in love with them and stuff. And you just look sad on this cover, and this cover is just beautiful. That is awesome. So, yeah, so it's, uh, it's not too long, it's not too short. Pretty sure I'll be able to get through this one. I have like a ton of books that I have had and haven't gotten to reading. Why not? It's okay. The Caucus Race and a Long Tail, which is chapter three. Read a book featuring a race, whether it be a little little race or something like the race to save the world. So, this is like one of the closest things I could find. And this is the barcode tattoo. And it's about like this basically a barcode tattoo that everyone is getting and this girl doesn't want it. And, you know, her only option is basically to run from the big bad government, which I feel like a lot of dystopians follow that same race metaphor as in like, you know, the race to like, stop the bad guys and everything, so, metaphorically, I'm using it for that. And I think I started reading this like a while back, I never finished it, or, so I'm gonna try it again. I think I got that far before something happened, I don't think I disliked it, I just 
something was going on, and I just never picked it up again, but I got it from Goodwill for like two bucks, so. Um. Chapter four is The Rabbit Sends in a Little Bill. Read a book with one of your favorite animals on the cover. And for that one, I'm going to be reading Scary Stories 3, which is you know, the short scary story. It's like film the dark. Um, it's better with like a crow on it. I think crows are pretty cool. I like a lot of other animals too, but I don't have them on books or books that I find right now. But I do like crows. They're pretty awesome. I'm going to be reading that one. Chapter 5 is Advice from a Caterpillar. Read a book that deals with a tough topic. That, this one's going to be, I guess, kind of a reread because I was listening to it like a year ago, but I lost my subscription because I no longer accepted the payment I was using. So I might as well just start over. That is White Onion, and this deals with um, a girl put in foster care after her mother basically murders her boyfriend and everything, and so there's a lot of things in this one. Um, chapter 6 Pig and Pepper. Read a book featuring cats, has cats on the cover or in the title. So again, I have had a lot of things packed away and everything, so making do with what I have. So it technically has a cat on the cover, small, but it has Scratchy on the cover, and that is Bartman. Mad Tea Party. Read a book while drinking tea or your favorite drink. So, my favorite drink is coffee, but I do love tea too, so I will be drinking tea, coffee, whatever, while reading the Vendetta. Because, again, I want to explore more of the dystopian genre. My favorite book of all time is dystopian. So, I'm going to look at some more of, like, more of the adult work, more of the older work and everything. Um, and like I said, I want to read more graphic novels and stuff. Um, let's see. Chapter 8. The Queen's Crote Graph. Read a book featuring royalty or it has a crown on the cover. So I don't have a book here for this one, but I know on YouTube... There is the audio version of the selection, which I've heard mixed things about, but again, I feel it'll be a lighter book, and it does have royalty, so I'm going to give that one a try. I think I heard a chapter before, so I'll just start over and really listen to it. So I just kind of keep that like a few minutes a while back to get like, of it. And I feel like it might be like a lighthearted book. Maybe like a guilty pleasure kind of thing for people. I don't know. Um, chapter 9 is the Mock Turtle Story. Read a book that takes place at or near the sea. So it's very small on my nook. And I think I've seen a copy of the physical book before, so I don't know, because a lot of times Nook will make things much smaller than what it actually is physically, like ebooks, I mean. So, um, for that one, I'm going to be reading Aquamarine. I wanted to read it for another prompt, but I just didn't get to it, so I'm going to be reading Aquamarine for the book near the sea. Lobster. Read a book 
featuring music in any way, or read a book with red on the cover. And this is going to be another reread for me, um, but I feel I'm a lot more older and more mature to really absorb and grasp everything about this book. I want to say it's I read it when my son was very young, so it's probably been about almost 10 years or so. So I'm due for a reread anyways, and that is Push by Uh This book is... I think this one could have went for the Tough Topic one, too, but we can't double up. So... It'll be for the Red Tech, or the music one. I don't know a lot of books with music. There's books I want to get, but they're by musicians, and they're like more poetry and lyrics, so not music specifically. So, I'm going to do this The next prompt is... Who Stole the Tarts? Read one of the host favorite books. And I am going to read if I can get it, if I can either get an audio or download it from Doug. I want to read As Old as Time, which is one of Ryan's favorite books. I just, I, one of the other ones I'll mention for Aaron, I believe, was Cinder, but I've already read that one. I'm already partly through the other book. But I like the idea of like retellings and stuff. I think a lot of them can be really fun and interesting and you know, people with different takes on them. So uh, as all the time as part of the twisted tale, so I'm going to check that one out. And the other one is Alice's Evidence. Is chapter 12. Read a mystery. And my kid actually ended up finding this at one of those like, three little libraries. And this is Girl Lassie. So this is probably going to be uh, besides White Only and it is the second thickest book on this TV. So I got a couple of Possible audio. I have one ebook, definitely. I have one middle grade, like two um, young adults. Well, I'm not sure if Push is young adult or adult. It's, um, it's pretty heavy subject matter. And a couple of comic slash graphic novels. So, yeah, all in total, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the other three. I know there are companion prompts, but I have not looked into those yet. I want to see if I can finish these. And of course, we'll be reading Alice in Wonderland. So, I have. Let's see if I can finish How to Train Your Dragon tomorrow and get on to, uh, Anyways, it's nice. Bye.